In this video I'm going to be showing you an alternative to the Windows uh, Device Manager. So if we right click on my computer and go Properties and then open up Hardware and Device Manager. This is where the Device Manager lives and you can actually see it's pretty basic but most technicians come here to find any driver issues and stuff like that and problems with any devices. So it's pretty limited to what, limited to what you can actually do here. Okay, So I'm going to show you uh, another piece of kit that you can actually use that's far superior to this. So let's have a look at where we can get it from. You can get it from this website here www.pro-it-education.de I will put the full link in my description of my video. It's, a, an, it's a, an alternative to a Windows Device Manager. It's called Device Remover. It works with Windows 2000, XP, Vista and Windows 7. Now if you are running XP and 2000 you will need to install the Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0 uh, Plus. So it works. It, uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 have already got that installed so you won't need to worry about that. It also works with 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. Okay, So let's have a look at the actual application itself. Now I've already installed mine so as you can see this is the actual application here. Now we're looking at the device tree here which looks pretty similar to the Windows um, the Windows version. So if we look at say for instance the floppy disk controllers and I right click on this it's going to give us the same similar information but as you can see here we've got device registry data details. So if I click on this this will actually open up uh, the actual panel here and you can actually see the registry hive key path for the actual controller so that takes us into the registry now I can actually uh, print this information if I wanted to export this information or open the key now if I open the key this will open up the location of that controller so as you can see it opens the registry up and there we go so it's pretty useful for that now it's got a few other tabs here uh, device list if I click on device list if I hover over these you can see a big yellow box that comes up and it gives you all the information that you may need okay now I'm only going to be scratching along the surface of this program because it is quite large and I don't think I'll have the time to cover the whole lot of information but if you come over to the right hand side here you can see copy all copy selected you can actually copy information okay so that's and you can actually remove you can actually remove selected as you can see so you can you do get quite a lot of information here and you've got an also a command line that's down the bottom here which you can actually use as well it's a run command line okay so let's actually move on to the next tab it's called drivers and services and as you can see again loads of useful information there is your services that are all there okay and we've also got memory loaded drivers which is another useful area as you can see how.dll that common error that people get and this gives you the information now if I right click on this how.dll file I can print this I can save this file I can copy the how.dll file I can um, upload driver how.dll I can back up module file uh, for module how.dll I can actually open up the location to where that file resides and it will actually highlight the actual file itself as you can see there very useful um, as you can see that's pretty much it for that one uh, let's move on to the next tab system processes and, and uh, handles uh, as you can see system and you've got CSRSS as you can see there process and uh, if you wanted to you can actually right click on here save information kill process so you can actually kill the process okay so that's very useful um, and as you can see a lot more debugging you can do loads of other stuff in this uh, area so let's have a look what else we can find on this and as you can see a process and service onto the right here you can actually flick between the two so let's have a look uh, device events so if I put the device events up and click on this it gives me the device events okay which is very useful and you can save this events list okay or clear it we've also got a print process list 
we've also got search for devices uh, search for div uh, service device drivers and also reload and display mode so we've, if we come up to the top here file as you can see here we've got a pretty much same that's down the bottom there really it's just another area so let's have a look at the application as you can see application you've got a load of useful bits here false application termination uh, translate error codes which is quite uh, useful also if I come down to system you can actually see loads more stuff here okay I'm not going to be able to go through all this stuff because there's too much but as you can see have a little play driver verifier uh, signature verifier you've got loads of useful um, tools there you can actually use let's have a look at the options okay so we've got options so that's pretty much uh, as I thought uh, help and uh, you can check for updates uh, device remover home page that's the actual home page for the thing and you've got the license there and about the actual application okay so I hope this video has been some use to you download it give it a go I'll tell you what you won't regret it it's far superior to the actual Windows device um, manager and uh, you won't go back once you start using it my uh, name is Brian from brightech.co.uk hope this video has been some use to you if you enjoy my videos please rate and subscribe for my videos also if you haven't registered on my forum yet please head over there and register and start posting your questions video requests anything of that nature and uh, I can help you over there okay so thanks again for your support guys thanks for watching bye for now